Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a video all about lip products. So this is going to be a combination of kind of my current favorite lip products for summer and then also just some new products that I've had for like about a month or so. So if you would like to see some of my favorite and new lip products and then see how they look on the lips, then please keep watching. So I don't have anything on my lips right now. So I just wanted to show you what this Lipstick Queen Frog Prince lipstick looks like. So this is the packaging. I think the packaging is really pretty. So it definitely just gives a pretty pink shade to your lips. It's not anything that's too pigmented. I like using this on days that I want to just have a really light, really natural lip look that's not too heavy. This is also something that could work even if I like wasn't wearing any makeup and I just wanted to put something on my lips real quick. Most lipsticks don't look good on me if I don't have makeup on the rest of my face, but since this one is very sheer, it works. And I do like the pink shade that it turns into. It just gives a nice little bit of pinkness to your lips. So I do like this product. It doesn't smell like anything, which is good. I'd rather have it smell like nothing than smell bad. That's that lipstick. So the next product is this one from Fresh. It's the Sugar Tinted Lip Treatment in the shade Honey. And this has SPF 15 in it. The sugar lip treatments are so nice from Fresh. I think that they're really good. It's a really pretty brownish nude, but it's not too dark. I think it's a really pretty color. These feel really, really nice on your lips. They're very moisturizing, very hydrating. They don't look patchy. It might look a little bit more pink than it normally does because I think that lipstick, Queen lipstick, stained my lips pink a little bit. Yeah, it definitely looks more pink than normal. It usually looks a little bit more muted, more nude, but you get the idea. I love this formula because it makes your lips feel really, really smooth and moisturized. If you have chapped lips, it's definitely going to help repair your lips. It just feels really nice and hydrating without feeling sticky. It just doesn't make your lips look dry. So if you are someone that doesn't like to wear a really heavy lipstick, you just want something that is really like lightweight on your lips and you just want something that's going to be basically like a tinted lip balm, then I would recommend the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments. And I personally really like this shade. Another product that is pretty new to me is from Clinique. It is this little guy. It's the Pop Liquid Matte Lip Color and this one is in the shade Candied Apple Pop. It's kind of like a raspberry reddish pink shade. Doesn't smell like anything. Very dark. Okay, so this is how it looks on the lips. I think it's a really pretty shade. It's definitely very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel drying at all, even though it is supposed to be a matte formula. It looks pretty similar actually to the shade in the bottle, but it doesn't look that matte. I don't know if it's gonna dry down more. It still looks kind of shiny. I don't know if it's gonna dry down anymore, but it definitely doesn't like emphasize your lines or anything. The applicator was nice. Since this is a dark shade, just because of the shade, it is kind of difficult to line your lips. I mean, Anytime I'm doing a shade like this, I have trouble, especially if I'm hungry and my hand is shaking, then I mess up. Or if I'm doing a ton of lip swatches and I get, you know, lazy. I don't feel like it's going to dry down anymore. And I remember when I wore this before, I don't think it ever dried down completely to a like powdery matte finish. I think this is more like a comfort matte finish, but I think it's a really pretty color. I think the color is really pretty, especially... This will be so pretty for Christmas time, the holidays, winter, you know, or fall. I think this will be like a gorgeous color for that time of year. I mean, you can wear this color any time of year, but personally for me, I like to wear those types of colors during that time of year. It's very comfortable, not drying or anything. I'll show you, it's definitely not transfer proof though. Made like a complete lip imprint on my hand. If you're someone that doesn't like the typical super matte powdery lipsticks that dry down to a complete matte finish and are really dry on your lips, then you might want to try this because it's definitely very comfortable. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a matte lipstick. It's kind of like in between a matte and a satin finish. Thank you, sister. My sister got that for me for my birthday. And then the Lipstick Queen lipstick my mama got me for my birthday. So thank you, mama. And thank you, sister. I just touched up my lip area with some concealer because that dark shade kind of got my skin a little bit. Okay, so the next product is from Urban Decay. It's their Vice lipstick in the Comfort Matte shade or in the Comfort Matte formula. And I have the shade Tilt and it's a really pretty orangish reddish shade and I love this shade because I don't have anything else like this. I think it's just such a pretty orange shade. It's like perfect for summer. You could definitely tell that this is a matte formula. It looks a lot more matte than the Clinique one did, but it's still really comfortable on the lips, which is weird for me because most matte lipsticks are not very comfortable on the lips or they feel a lot more drying than this. And this 
feels so nice. It feels so comfortable. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a matte lipstick, but you still get that matte finish. This is not a transfer proof product. It's not like a liquid lipstick that's going to dry down to a matte finish and not budge. It's going to transfer. But I love the shade. I think it's so pretty. And anytime that I want to do kind of more of a bold, bright color lip, I go for this one because I think it looks really nice. It doesn't look too bright and bold. It kind of just, I think it goes with so many different things. Like this is my favorite shade to use for a orangey red lip. Okay, the next product that I'm going to show you guys is from Tarte. It's their Lippy Lingerie little, it's kind of like a chubby stick. I don't know what this is called, but it is a matte tint lipstick in the shade Pure. And you just pull the cap off and it twists up. But mine broke. I accidentally broke it. But it still works. This is how it looks on my hand. So just like the Urban Decay one, it doesn't dry down matte or anything since it's like a typical lipstick. It's not a liquid one, but it still gives a matte finish. So this is really comfortable to wear on your lips as well, like the Urban Decay one. This is how this shade looks from Tarte, and this one doesn't smell or taste like anything either, so that's nice. I think this is just a really pretty brownish nude shade, and I don't think I've ever really used this on my channel before, but I do take this with me like in my purse. It's really easy to apply and fix any mistakes because it doesn't dry down and set, so it doesn't emphasize any lines or dryness. My camera's about to die, so I didn't film applying this one, but this is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dolce. The formula of the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks is a typical liquid lipstick that dries down to a matte kind of powdery finish where you don't really feel like you have anything on your lips, but it lasts really well throughout the day. They have really good pigmentation. It depends on what color you have, what shade you have. They could look a little bit patchy just depending on what shade, but this one applies really well and it looks really nice on the lips. And I just love this shade. It's kind of like a peachy coral. So it dried down. So you don't really see anything moving onto my hand. If I was eating something or drinking something, some of it's going to come off, but not too much. So it doesn't really transfer too much. So it is a really long lasting formula. Since this is a typical drying liquid lipstick, it does emphasize fine lines a little bit and patchiness, but if you exploit your lips beforehand, it shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, I love this shade. And this is the last shade I wanted to show you guys. It's the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Beeper. This is definitely a dark shade for me since I have such fair skin. But I love ColourPop lipsticks. I think that they have a really good range of lipsticks. They have so many different shades. And they're so affordable. I believe they're... Ultra Matte Lips are $6, so this is $6, I think. And I think this is a really pretty shade. Definitely, I'm going to wear this a lot during the fall and winter months. And it does dry down to a powdery matte finish. Even though it is a liquid lipstick that dries down and is matte, it's still very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel too dry, and it doesn't emphasize your lines and your lips too much. And same thing with, like, patchiness or any dry spots on your lips. It doesn't emphasize it too much. And if you do have dry areas, you could just exfoliate beforehand. So those are all the lipsticks I wanted to share with you guys. These are just some new lipsticks in my collection that I got in the past couple months that I haven't really talked about all of them. Some of them I've showed you guys before, but some of them I haven't. And also these are some of my favorites that I've been really liking to wear over the summer. So I just wanted to share some of my current favorite lipsticks. Let me know in the comments what lipsticks you've been liking to wear this summer. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!